How to deal with transphobia. Transphobia negative attitudes and feelings towards transgender, transsexual, genderqueer, gender neutral people, and other people of gender variant identities is a pervasive force in the lives of many trans people. It may be impossible to eradicate transphobia completely, but there are some things you can do to make it easier to cope with others' opposing opinions. Talk about your needs and be prepared to speak up when people say something hurtful. Most importantly, surround yourself with support and find a community you can join. Interacting with others. Ensure your safety. If at any point you feel threatened by someone, get help. Go to someone you trust and go somewhere you feel safe, like a friend's house or an LGBT community center. If you think someone might cause you harm, do something. For example, you can send a text or make a phone call to someone you trust. If necessary, call the police. If someone is harassing you, you can file a restraining order. Question day-to-day -day assumptions. If someone makes you feel odd, unusual, or marginal, considering questioning the assumptions they are making. If someone refers to your childhood, as a boy, for example, and you have always identified as a girl, correct them. If someone says that you are a boy, with girl parts, inform them that your genitalia is male, like the rest of you. Ask them why a particular body part is female, exactly. Again, it is not your responsibility to make people think, but when you feel comfortable doing so, planting that seed may lead people to change their views down the line. Shut down prying questions. Some people think it's okay to ask about your private parts, surgery, or other very personal questions. Make your boundaries known and let them know that these are personal questions and not something you talk about casually. If someone asks about something personal, say, that's private information, or, I don't think it's appropriate to talk about that. You can also say, sex is a private matter. Let's respect each other's privacy. Remember that there is no reason that your boundaries should be any different than other people's boundaries just because of sexual orientation. You can also say, sex is a private matter. Let's respect each other's privacy. Remember that there is no reason that your boundaries should be any different than other people's boundaries just because of sexual orientation. Talk about pronouns. If people are confused about how to refer to you, make it clear. Decide which pronoun you feel most comfortable with and introduce it to those around you. When you introduce yourself, state your preferred pronoun. For example, say, Hi, I'm Chris and I like to be referred to as he and him. If someone isn't respecting your chosen pronoun, gently speak to them about it. Say, I understand this makes you uncomfortable, but I identify this way. Please respect my wishes. If someone isn't respecting your chosen pronoun, gently speak to them about it. Say, I understand this makes you uncomfortable, but I identify this way. Please respect my wishes. Challenge jokes or remarks. Often, an insult can be reversed to make a person question their worldview and transphobic stance. If you're an outgoing person or enjoy using humor, you can make someone who is insulting you feel pretty silly and making a joke may also put them at ease. For example, if someone questions your gender identity, you might say, so, when did you realize that you were a man, woman, boy, girl? If someone makes a comment about checking your genitalia, you might reply dryly, can I check yours? It's not your responsibility to have the confidence to make jokes like this, but if you do, they can be a helpful way to combat insults and making fun of trans people at others' expense. Let them know that it's not okay to joke about. If you want to be serious yet still get your point across, say, don't joke about that, or, I find that comment hurtful, keep in mind that feeling comfortable with yourself will likely help to make the other person feel comfortable with you as well.